Hello and welcome to the Hawker Help Desk. I'm Kelly Royer with American Business Development Group, representing Enersys, the manufacturer of Hawker batteries. In this episode, I want to talk to you about how you test batteries that are wired in parallel, series, or series parallel. While most personal vehicles only require one battery, that's not the case for many commercial and most military vehicles. They require two, four, six, or even 12 batteries to provide the necessary power to kick the engine over. So how are those batteries connected? Well, in a parallel connection, all we simply do is connect the two positive terminals, and likewise with the negative terminals. And then typically off one battery, it goes out to our system. Now in this setup, what we've done is we've kept the voltage at the individual battery rating, so 12.9 volts for the system, but for the cold cranking amps, we've doubled it. So while an individual Hawker Armasafe Plus battery can provide a minimum of 1,225 cold cranking amps when new, it's now going to provide the system with 2,450 cold cranking amps. Now for a series connection, all we simply do is connect the positive terminal of one battery to the negative terminal of the other battery. And then the two remaining terminals get connected to our system. In this setup, what we've done is we've kept the cold cranking amps at the individual battery rating, so 1225, but in terms of voltage, we've doubled that. So while an individual battery provides 12.9 volts when topped off, it will now provide the system with 25.8 volts. Now, if we have four batteries or more, we can actually combine the two and wire them in series parallel. If you have four batteries and they're wired in series parallel, now we've doubled the volts as well as the cold cranking amps. Now, you can test an individual battery with a multimeter, a conductance analyzer, and even a mechanics load tester and get an accurate result. In fact, even batteries that are wired in series, you just have to make sure that you connect to one single battery when you conduct the test. Now the same cannot be said for batteries that are wired in parallel or series parallel, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to connect to this battery using a multimeter. It reports back a battery sitting at 4.63 volts. Now that's a deeply drained battery. When I connect to this battery, it reports back 12.81 volts. This battery is nearly topped off in terms of voltage. Now, I'm going to hook the batteries in parallel. I'm going to come back to the deeply drained battery and take a reading. It now reports back 12.32 volts. Obviously, that's a much elevated voltage reading and highly inaccurate. And if I were to use a mechanics load tester or a conductance analyzer, I'm most likely going to receive another elevated and false reading. So whenever you're testing batteries in parallel or series parallel, just be sure to break the parallel connection first. If you have any questions or any other battery-related issue, please visit us at hawkerbattery.com. While there, Check out our one-page quarterly newsletter called Hawker Headlines, as well as our complete Hawker Help Desk training series in the Video Vault. Of course, you can always reach us on the Hawker Hotline at 877-485-1472.